when it comes to building the roads, I've got these easements and they're uh, along the east and the west side of the property, there's 30 foot easements for road and utilities. Um, you can see here behind me, I've got these great big trees and the problem is, is they're inside that easement. So I've got to run either, either the ditch along the side of the road or the road, or I've got utilities, whatever it might be, these trees are in the way and it's not necessarily the tree but it's the roots of that tree that are going out that might be in the way of ditch utility road whatever so i've got to go along in several places and tip these trees over to to allow the road to go through there um, which is not a bad thing what that's going to do is it's it's going to give us the room for the road but more importantly it's going to give me some fantastic trees to put on the sawmill so my hope is that I could get uh, Samuel Mike out here and set him up um, maybe one day, something like that. And we'll come in a day ahead of him, tip the trees over, and we'll buck them into like 16 foot lengths. And we'll go 16 foot six or something like that. We'll limb all the trees and we'll have this log deck set up where Mike could come in and just cut, 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 cut. And at the end of the day, we would have this great big pile of wood and, and lumber. And so we'll take it from a, a problem to, to a solution and and end up with some great boards for building projects and doing whatever we need to do. As you can see behind me, we've got this burn pile and this thing when we lit it on fire was, was huge and it's kind of burned down and I've got big stuff. I've got stumps and, and stuff in here. So we'll put that together. Now I've got, I don't know if you can see behind it, I've got some other piles back there and we'll try to bring all of those together, consolidate them, get a big pile going. We'll also try to shake any dirt off of the, the roots and, and keep, you know, take our five piles and make that into three piles and then those piles into two and, 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 and maybe down until we can get it down to one and then burn that one down. Um, but with just, depending on how they burn down and what's in them, it's, it's just this ongoing process of burn and then consolidate and then burn and consolidate and burn and consolidate and you just keep going until that stuff is down to ash and once it's ash then spread it out um, and grass will grow back up through it and things will be cleaned up um, so that's kind of what we got going but you can see even if i spin this camera you can see this one down here, that one has been burning maybe a week and it's smoldering a little, but it's interesting that, that there's a, it looks like there's a lot of dirt in it, but what that is is from all those stumps that the, the stumps have burned up, the dirt is dried out, it's fallen off and there's ash and dirt. And so you kind of have to go through and separate out, okay, what's wood, what's dirt, what's ash, pull the wood out of it um, and then put that into another fire or into another pile and, and light that on fire. So that's, that's kind of what we've got going is this just cleanup. It's going to make for some really nice pasture area, some really nice grassy areas. Um, the majority of this place is trees everywhere. So having pasture is, and when I say pasture, just open meadow type areas where there's not trees and there's not stumps and sunlight can get in and the grasses can grow. Um, that, that's, that's one of the neat things about this development is there is a lot of grassy areas. It's open. You can see the views of the mountains and, and yes, it, it limits your, the amount of privacy you've got, but it also gives you great views and it gives you grassy pastures where you can put your horses or you can put your, your sheep or your goats or whatever you want to do. So it'll be good to get this cleaned up um, and that'll be an ongoing project. I know uh, the, the, the burn season is up May 10th and what that means is instead of just open burn, you can burn whatever you want. 
um, you just need to go get a permit and and that's a simple process you can do that online and they check the air quality of the day and let you know if you're a green light yellow light red light um, so we'll have to start doing those burn permits and getting those as we continue to burn these piles and, and clean things up out here.
many did you get out of there? Is it seven? Seven? Yeah, something like that. I wasn't really counting.